What's going down everybody, it's your boy Hick, and today I thought I'd take a shot at showing you how to create, recreate the Naruto logo from the anime series Naruto. So first things we want to do is we want to select the text tool, and uh, we want to write in Naruto. Naruto. And now that we've written in Naruto, uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the font, and you want to download a font called Ninja Naruto. I'm pretty sure that's what the name of it is, and we're going to change the, and then you just download and install that font, and um, we'll be using that font as our main basis. So Ninja Naruto, there it is, Ninja Naruto regular. And as you can see, it's a little bit different to the Naruto logo over here, but uh, just for a remaking idea, it, it, it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we want to turn down that just a little bit, I think. No, maybe not. We'll just leave it around there. That looks fine like that. And uh, we're going to change our color to orange. So I'm just going to pick any orange for now. And we'll change all that later. So now that we have our layer, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. Uh, press Command T on it. And bring it down a little bit and to the right a little bit. Now that we're going to hide our bottom layer, we're going to change the color of this one to blue. Like the blue on the Naruto one. And we're just going to pull our layer that's underneath this one to the top. So actually I'm going to rename this and call this Naruto Shadow. And we're just going to have this one called Main Naruto. And there we have it. That looks fine like that. Now what you want to do is you want to go inside of Main Naruto. And you want to double on oh, and you want to click on Stroke. Inside of Stroke, change uh, from outside to inside change the color to white and then we just want to beef this up a little bit more to around there or well, maybe a bit more than that to around there click OK now we want to duplicate this layer now that it's duplicated change the fill color to zero double click on the stroke and change from change that color to the blue color that we're using for the background now that the blue color for the background has been changed we want to change this to outside and there we have it very close to how the Naruto one is at the moment. Now I'm going to show you how to change. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to add in those little uh, orange effects that are going across it. So now all we need to do is we need to click OK. Now that we've clicked OK, actually, let's have a look at this. This one's a little bit more filled out than that one. So we're going to bring this. Oh no, we're moving the wrong one. We're going to bring Naruto Shadow over to around there. That looks a little bit better. Maybe that way. Here we go. That looks fine like that. Um, our one's a little bit more parted from each other, but we're just going for the basic sort of... It, we're just trying to remake it to our own needs anyway. Uh, so it's fine like that. What we want to do now is we want to go to Naruto Main. Which one is this one? This one is the outline. So I'm going to actually call this one Naruto Outline. Outline. And we're going to bring this one to the bottom of main Naruto. Make sure that main Naruto is always on top. Uh, we're going to actually change this one. So we're going to turn down the fill color to zero so that it's not filled anymore. We're going to hold down control and then click on the T of main Naruto, the square over here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to create a layer underneath this. Now that we've created that new layer, what we want to do is we want to select the colors of Naruto. So we're going to click this yellow. And we're going to click on this orange. Now that, oh well it's a red actually. I thought it was an orange. Now that we've selected those colors, what we want to do is we want to uh, select the magic wand tool. Hold down alt and we want to deselect uh, the ones that we don't want. So we actually have to click on, are we using this one? I'm pretty sure we're using that one. Uh, we actually have to click back on main Naruto. Hold down alt and then click on this like this. And we should start removing, make sure you're holding down alt. And there we go, it's finished. Now we want to go to the, click on the paint bucket tool or the gradient tool, depending on what one's there for you. And we want to change the gradient tool. Now that we're on the gradient tool, we click on layer two. We'll call this one uh, Naruto color. And then we just click from the start of the A to the end of the A. And then we have it. We've got the first letter inside of Naruto. Maybe I should have done N first, but it doesn't really matter. You can do it in whatever order you want. So now we go back to main Naruto, select them. Um, if we click on Naruto color, it should deselect the A. And then we just hold down Alt on the, the selection tool over here. We, we can go back to Magic Wand, but it'll just be a lot faster if I do it this way. 
Uh, make sure you hold down Alt to deselect. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the gradient tool again, go back down to Naruto Color, and we want to drag this one across. You can create uh, multiple layers for each um, each gradient that you want to put on each word, but I'm just going to have them all on one word. Uh, once again, we're going to go back to main Naruto, hold down Control, click on the T, and it'll select the whole layer. Now we want to go click on main Naruto, and we want to click on the magic wand tool, deselect, 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 deselect. Make sure you're holding Alt on the magic wand tool, otherwise this isn't going to work. Click on the gradient tool, go back to Naruto color, and then drag it across to the end of the R, and we've got the R done. Now we're just going to keep repeating this process, so I'm just going to speed this up a little. And there we have it. We've pretty much finished the Naruto logo. I'm going to show you how to get that uh, pink thing in the background. I'm not going to do it exactly because I'm pretty sure that this pink thing in the background is the Leaf Village symbol. I can't be 100% sure. It might just be a bunch of circles. But what I'm going to do is just a bunch of circles. So what I want to do is select the main color that I want, the pink. And then I'm going to select the selection tool. And then I'm going to go to the elliptical marquee tool. And then we're going to make a big circle like so. Go to the bottom of the layer. Uh, on top of layer one and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the gradient tool and hold down and go to the paint bucket tool now that we've created our circle what we want to do is duplicate our circle layer press command t hold down alt click on one of the corners and hold shift so that you get it uh, proportionate to the size of the circle and press enter now that we've pressed entered hold down control and go to the second circle the new circle that you just made this one right here and click on that. Now we want to hide that layer and we want to click on layer 2 and click delete and it'll make the circle like that. Now we want to deselect everything, show our layer again, click on the, uh, the top circle, press Control T to bring up the uh, transformation tool and we're going to hold down Alt and Shift and click from the circle, uh, cl click from the corner and bring the circle in a bit more, press Enter and we're going to duplicate the layer one more time, press Ctrl T and bring the circle down again. And now we're just going to press Ctrl and click on the top circle, the layer cop layer two, copy two. Um, we can delete that one now. So we're going to just drag it into the trash can. And what I want to do is make sure that layer two copy is selected, press delete. And now we have our circles. Uh, I know it's not exactly the same as this one, but it's fine like this. Now that we have our circles, um, I'm just going to merge them together by pressing Ctrl E. Now layer two, layer 2 can just be renamed to the circle, if that's how you spell circle. And now that, it's, uh, now that it's all ready, what we can do now is we can right click on circle and we can convert it to a smart object. I just like to do this when I'm resizing stuff so that I don't use, lose the quality, uh, the original quality of the image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this tool, the move tool. We're going to move it at the back of Naruto, press command T. And once you press command T on a... Uh, converted layer, uh, converted smart object layer, you'll be able to move these things around now. So hold down control and in the middle there should be a square. Hold down shift as well and we'll be able to move it to the side like so. Hold down shift if you want to resize it proportionately. And there we have it. Pretty much the Naruto logo right there. If you want to go into more depth and have those... Oh no, it doesn't even have the cutoff points. Um, you can make the exact background and you just do the exact same thing that I did right there. So that's pretty much the Naruto logo to a T right there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, oh, this tutorial, remember to hit that like button if you liked it, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for another tutorial next time. Peace.